Hello my great people it is I Sir Anxious underscore God the Almighty Faith Sage also known as Father Anxious Dark Souls PvP Pro FromSoft Grand Slam Platinum Holder World Record Holder for Fastest Sekiro Plat Team Ninja PvE Master Chaos God Scampus God Pro Call of Duty Competitor Part-Time FIFA Pro. So we're all waiting for Sony to announce Bloodborne 2 as it's been rumored for a long time now that Bloodborne aka one of the greatest products that's come out of From Software and PlayStation is going to have a sequel at some point and Sony's been awfully quiet in talking about anything Bloodborne for the last few years. So what is it exactly that we want Bloodborne 2 to be? Many fans have their theories and I'm here to talk about that. I'm going to explain what we should expect, what we can reasonably hope for and wild predictions slash wants for Bloodborne 2. Let's get right into it. So let's start with things we should expect and know are certain. First of all we know the game is obviously going to look better, in fact it'll look better than Elden Mid and I mean way I, I better. The reason for this is because Bloodborne is a PlayStation property first and PlayStation takes their first party game seriously and that includes graphical fidelity so expect Bloodborne 2 to blow your minds visually. Another thing we expect is that Bloodborne 2 will perform way better, I'm talking 60 FPS, well I'm here to say screw 60 FPS I believe we deserve and will be getting 120 FPS. If Team Ninja could do it with the Neo and Neo 2 remasters then I don't see why FromSoft can't do it with Bloodborne 2. Some more obvious things to expect include more weapons and gear than the previous game, expansions upon returning mechanics, a way better chalice dungeon system, etc. Now let's talk about the things that we can hope for from a reasonable to slightly coping level. We hope that the game won't be open world, dear lord please don't deliver upon us another FromSoft open world game, that would be such a travesty and before you even say anything in the comments just think about the mess that Elden Mid is, just think about it, do we really want the same with Bloodborne 2? No. Another thing we hope for is an opportunity for a better online experience more specifically an actual PvP system. Please, PvP in Bloodborne Original is non-existent and I need another game to own everyone in. And I think we can also hope for more build variety and better replay value along with that. Lastly it's not too much to ask that the cool environments and setting, the crazy story, the fun fast-paced gameplay, and the magic that made Bloodborne what it is in the first place will return in Bloodborne 2 and perhaps even better. Finally, we can talk about wild predictions and hopes, these are the things that the community talks about the most, coming up with crazy theories and such. First off, the setting, we don't know if Bloodborne 2 will take place in British England again Oregon if it'll be in some other place like Brazil but fans have been coming up with crazy ideas like Egyptian setting or some shit. And with that we also don't know if it'll be a prequel or a sequel to Bloodborne story wise and some fans have said it might not even be connected to Bloodborne original. I think none of this is happening. I'm saying I think Bloodborne 2 will divert from the primitive focus on beasts and beasthood and will focus on the celestial side of the lore, I'm saying Bloodborne 2 will be in space and shit, the cosmos we're gonna be fighting aliens and crazy planet monsters in different crazy environments and it will be very cool to see on my screen soon. So that's about everything that we know about Bloodborne 2, what to expect, hope for, and predict for the game. Also an awful lot of people keep saying Bloodborne shouldn't have a sequel <laughs> that it doesn't need one and to those people I say shut the fuck up you don't know what you're talking about, we want Bloodborne too. If you want to keep playing a 30 FPS PvP less old ass game then you can do so. But do not come out here with these dumb comments. Anyways what are your thoughts, hopes, and predictions on the upcoming Bloodborne 2? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more videos like this, Father Anxious out.